people here that have come here from Ohio, Indiana, people came down from Flint. We want to thank everybody that traveled a long distance. And in a minute, I'm going to introduce a brother that came here all the way from Indianapolis. I just want to make people aware. We all know February 11th is the anniversary of the Flint sit-down strike, where we occupied General Motors for 44 days, and we brought them to their knees. And they didn't want to recognize the UAW, but they had to. We gave them no choice. We had eight demands then, and one of them has never been met. And that's for a 30-hour week. This was in 1937 that we thought we shouldn't have to work more than six hours a day. And if we did, we should get overtime. Now look at how much productivity has skyrocketed since then. One worker does a work of 20 or 30 or maybe 50. Isn't it time for a shorter work week? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if four people did the work of three? That could create one job for every three job we have now. Yeah. So I think it's a good idea. Six hour day, eight hours pay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to introduce our last speaker, and we're also going to talk about a fight, a fight that was waged by GM workers in Indianapolis who were not going to work for half pay, even if it meant that GM threatened to close their plant and set them who knows where, Ohio, where, all over the country. They're just We're just like this mobile labor force. We've got to come together and fight back. Uh, but I'd like to introduce uh, a great brother, Brother Greg Clark, Shop Chair Local 23 of Indianapolis. Thank you. As Martha just said, we did wage a, a war earlier. Not a war, we waged a protest earlier this, this past year. I'm sorry. We waged protest this past year about uh, the plant wanted to, uh, the company wanted to sell us off wanted us to stay in the facility, do the same work, and work for 50% of our wages, which was uh, just downright crazy. We, uh, we refused that offer, we fought for it, we fought no concessions, but in the end, all we were rewarded with now is the plant is being closed. Uh, you fight for your rights and this is what you get. You know, we were guaranteed uh, through this, pre this last contract that we would have uh, you know, our, our traditional wages, because we did get those wages, I was just informed last week that they're accelerating this shutdown until April of uh, 30. Want to want to shut the plant down by April 30th of this this year. So uh, uh, you know, I appreciate all you guys coming out here, but it's going to take more than just this few of us out here on the sidewalk. So you guys are have to uh, you know go back to your facilities, go back to your respective locals and uh, spread the word, and we need to come together as the UAW. Everyone needs to come out, put forth an effort, let our voices be heard. Uh, it has been happening in the past, so just everyone come together in total solidarity, and let's try to, let's try to right this ship and move forward into the future. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Yeah.